Okay, we're going to attempt to fix the TC Helicon Voice Live Extreme 3 white screen issue. This is an issue with the SD card inside, which is used to boot this device. Let me just tell you that, let me show you what it looks like when it doesn't work. I'm going to tell you my experience with Music Tribe, which owns TC Helicon, has been horrendous, horrific, and terrible customer service, and unbelievably poor. So this is the symptom of the unit. You power it up and you just get a white screen. It's failing to boot up and display the Voice Live 3 logo. And so my research indicates it's a poorly seated SD card inside or possibly needs a contacts clean. So we're going to give it a shot. So the first thing we're going to do is take off all of these Torx screws right here. And those Torx screws, the size is a T15. So I'm going to remove these screws and then we'll take a look at the circuit board. This is the fifth Torx. The sixth over here. The seventh, the eighth, and then there's a ninth screw at the very bottom of this handle. As you'll see, it's a much larger screw than the rest. Once you have all the screws out, it pops right out. There's a little washer in here as well. And now, as you can see, we have the TC Helicon circuit board. And you'll see right here, there is a small SD card. And we're going to take that SD card out, clean it, and reseat it. So to do that, we very carefully push this little tab forward. It lifts up, and the SD card can be removed. And there she is. That's our SD card. And what we're going to do now is we're going to clean these contacts on both the SD card and the SD card bus. And I'm gonna lift those little contacts here up a little bit to spring them up so they'll put more pressure on the card. And then I'm going to see if that solves the problem. So you can use isopropyl alcohol to clean these SD cards or you can use a rubber eraser tip just to clean these contact points off. Get off any dirt, debris, or anything that might be Hindering electrical contact. That's good as new. Now I'm going to use this little plastic empty ballpoint pen. It's got a nice hollow little tip there. I'm going to use it to just grab these little splines, little springs, and pull them up a little bit just to give them a little more tension. I'm going to pull these up to give them a little more tension so now all the splines are elevated I'm going to go ahead and replace the chip reseat it in here on those little splines make sure it's making good contact it is flip the door closed press down and then slide it over this way just a little bit until it snaps and now the SD cards in place and we're gonna see if it will boot now so I'm going to take the power cable plug it in always unplug these units when you're working on electronics and I'm going to hit the power switch and let's see if this seven hundred and ninety eight dollar piece of scrap metal is back to life.
And for me, it's not that simple. So that was not successful for me. So I'm going to go ahead and try the factory reset now. And that is also not successful. So in my case, the rebooting of the SD card is not going to solve the problem. So next, uh, the next fix from what I understand is to download and install the operating system on a new SD card, replace the card and attempt to reboot it. So that will be my part two. Meanwhile, please keep in mind, this is a one year old, almost $800 TC Helicon unit. It's just out of warranty. TC Helicon, which is owned by Music Tribe, their answer to me was, sorry, it's out of warranty. You'll have to send it to a repair facility. They gave me the name and number of several repair facilities whom I called and said, Music Tribe moved their parts warehouse to Canada and they don't have any parts for anything right now. And so I have a $798 piece of scrap metal. Before I completely give up on this, we're going to try some alcohol. I'm going to try gently cleaning off the contacts here. They do look a lot shinier now. And we'll also dab and clean up the contacts down here. And reseat the SD card. Bring our clip over. A little bit tricky. There it is. Snapping into place. Okay, we're seated. I hope. And plug the unit back in and power it up. Look at that. So, I highly recommend that you use the alcohol method. And that appears to have fixed the problem. And we'll see if we get our menu. It says loading, it says build, and there we are. We're back in business. So keep in mind, this has been up until this moment, a almost $800 piece of garbage that Music Tribe refused to assist in any way in troubleshooting this. Thank God I found a few um, videos on YouTube, people who had similar units, similar, similar problems. And this looks like it fixed it. Tomorrow I'll put it through its paces and see if it's still. But for now, we appear to be back online.